at MPS goes to Castle Palooza and I have the pleasure to chat to Dahi. Dahi, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, getting onto the couch here. Um, you are going to be performing later on. What can we expect from the performance? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's in the tent here, which has been really good for kind of dance acts. Um, it's my fourth year here, um, and every single time it's just kind of gotten better and better and we get more and more of a crowd. So I just released an album um, two, weeks ago, or two, uh, two months ago, and uh, it's doing really well. We're going to be playing a lot of tracks off that, so it'll be big, energetic dance music. That'll be the main aim. That'll be cool. And um, I've actually I've kind of seen you when you kind of started off to like here. Uh, for anyone that mightn't know you yet, can you give us a brief history of your career in music? Yeah, um, it's changed quite a lot. Like I started when I was um, when I was younger. I did a kind of a, a couple of talent shows when I was about eighteen or nineteen, um, with just a fiddle and a kind of small little loop station. So it was very kind of stripped back stuff. And then since then, once I kind of left that, I started getting more and more into dance music. And now it's like a very big kind of massive dance show with uh, with fiddle kind of built over on top of it. And I kind of live record the fiddle on stage. So it's got a kind of a a, a kind of a more active thing than just sitting behind a laptop, you know, so it's fun. That's the main thing. It's just designed to get people dancing, I think, so. So do you feel that, like, for electronic performances like you, that it's a, it's a big thing to have, like, a performance more than a head-down anonymous performer kind of a thing? Yeah, I mean, some people do it really well. Some people look really cool with the kind of the, the cigarette and the kind of the, the laptop and just kind of standing there really cool. But I can't do it at all. Like, if I'm not doing stuff on stage, I feel like I was like I'm cheating or something. So um, I try and keep myself busy as much as possible. And it kind of opens its, itself up to kind of a lot of kind of creative stuff. You know, you can make each show different um, just by doing different things, you know. So definitely, I think for me, my live show is really, really important. It's kind of... I almost I almost hold it in more importance than say recording or anything like that. You know, I really enjoy playing live and that kind of immediate kind of <laughs> like uh, response from people. You know, so I really really like that. So I try and keep the live show as kind of interesting and energetic as possible. That's really cool. And uh, out of everything that has happened from coming from this Clare lad with the fiddle to like playing at Castle Blues over the last four years, what has been the biggest highlight for you? Uh, geez, there's been a couple. Um, last year was really, really special. I did Electric Picnic last year. Um, I did two shows and both of them were absolutely packed out. And it was kind of like a really, really seminal moment for me because it was just kind of, it was like, yeah, I'm actually going the right way and people are actually liking what I'm doing and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So I think that was kind of the moment that I kind of said that I could actually do this for, a, for my life, you know, and actually work on music for the rest of my life. So I think that was a big, big turning point in my head and kind of saying that, you know, this is a lot more than a hobby now. It's it's everything that I do, you know. So that was a really big moment, I think, definitely. And apart from world domination, it seems with all these new releases, uh, is there anything else that's coming up at the moment? Um, for me, we're, we're trying to aim to get to travel. Um, I'm going to Liverpool in in a, in a couple of weeks, and then uh, we're going to start doing touring in the UK and in America and stuff. So and now it's kind of like looking abroad a bit more as well, you know. So I'll keep doing what I'm doing <laughs> and try and get to as many places as possible. I think. And still, if people still can't find you after all this kind of stuff, where can they go check you out? Um, yeah, you can go to Twitter. I'm on Dahi Music. I use that a lot. Um, and then Facebook, if you just write in Dahi Music as well. Um, YouTube, got loads of videos and stuff as well. So, yeah, just write in Dahi anywhere. You'll find it. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you so much, Dahi, for this little chat. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Great. Well, that was Dahi here at MPS Goes to Casa Palooza.